So when I set up to mill, I always mark my corner. And I mark it, that's my homing point. So if I flip the mold over, turn it around, or whatever, and return it, I know exactly where I um, went to mill from. And then, of course, the next thing I do is I put this all-cut paste all over the surface. And that helps it do a much better job. The machine keeps the bit cool, lubricates the operation, and just makes a general better cut in general. So... Yeah, this is a one quarter bit, two flute, and I'm about to face the part, first step. I also, I have a, a spoil board underneath this part here, so under the clamp, underneath this wood here, there's a spoil board. And uh, it's got a clamp, two clamp points there, and uh, two over there, squishes it into the back of the mold. That way I get in the same spot no matter what I'm doing every time. So I want to mention that when I uh, go to set my Z height, I use this uh, sensor, obviously. But I actually milled my spacer because it wasn't the same height from there to there or there to there. So I, made, I put it on the bed and I made a nice, uh, smooth, slow pass on that. And now I am assured that it's always uh, level and smooth at the same height. This operation can go a little bit faster than the program calls for, so I overspeed it. In this case, 200%. You can see it here. So you can see I'm in the last couple of turns of this ramp, which I was running at 200%. I've now slowed it right down to 22% as the bits having a little hard time at the very bottom of the uh, pocket or ramp in this case. The reason I had to slow down the orbiting at the very at bottom of these pieces here uh, I'm back up to 200% here again. Um, is mainly because I messed up. I actually didn't machine the very bottom of the pocket uh, finished. I had thought I had, but I had left in the code 
uh, to leave 0.2 millimeters of stock behind. And so when this bit got to the bottom, it had to actually cut the full thickness of the bit down the last couple of loops. So by using the speed override, I was able to not crash the mill, not break the bit, and I can go back uh, in the next operation and actually machine that bottom piece and I don't get a crash because of that. So that's a good reason to hang around your mill when you're milling and if you hear the bit or the mill loading up unnaturally, you can immediately slow down, pause, or abort instead of coming back to a broken bit. So you can see that little groove that's left on the bottom because I didn't face the bottom of the pocket before I did the ramp. Hence the reason I had to slow down the bit to finish off that uh, groove. Well, here's the roll out of the mill. Well, you can see here, this is the same cutter here, except that I'm trying to keep it as close as I can to the motor or spindle. So I cut, the one I'm using right now, I cut it shorter, not a lot, but enough that it uh, is just a little bit shorter inside. So it doesn't stick down as far. It doesn't get the leverage on the motor that a longer bit hanging below the motor would give it. So have you ever hit a button like home and had it running and when you realize oh I need to stop this thing and the only real way to stop it is hit the emergency stop button but this button here is actually an emergency stop button too. The reset. So if you hit the reset button at any point and it's trying to do something on its own whether it's like telling you to go to a location or homing or anything and you want to stop it and you want to stop it now instead of getting up and hitting the button this button will stop it just as good as emergency stop i know i thought this one here would be the stop button and it would stop it but it doesn't stop is not as good as reset of course you hit reset you're going to be literally resetting everything but it's better than having a crash didn't quite get that spot and that spot there so I'm going to take another 0.2 millimeters off of this run it at 1600 millimeters a second I think it's grabbing about 0.2 millimeters step over running uh, both directions of my two flute should take about seven minutes to run this do it again
pretty flat. Well, there's the final mold after all that machining yesterday. Just wash the part to get rid of any excess, but nothing else done to it other than the machining. 